let's pick the thoughts of ranking member on the Education Committee of Parliament and MP for Akachi North, Peter Nochu Kotoi, for more on this particular subject matter. Thank you for your time with us here on Eyewitness News. First, uh, doesn't this delay raise serious questions about preparations for parents uh, to get their awards in school next Monday? Yeah, thank you, and uh, good evening. Uh, thank you again for having me. Yes, um, it is going to affect the school calendar seriously. Uh, this is because the 20th that the GS has even set as a reopening day for the first year students, I am of the view strongly that it will not uh, be possible because we have only six days to the 20th and the placement is yet to be released. Uh, if the placement is released this week, uh, how can they take two or three days to prepare their horse to go to school? So I am of the view and I'm thinking that uh, that 20th is not possible. If anything, it should be around 1st of uh, March. Uh, I think uh, uh, measures must be put in place so that uh, as soon as uh, the BC results are released, placement is done within a week so that parents can uh, prepare and then go to and uh, let their wards go to school because it involves money. You don't know where your child is going to be placed and what you will buy depends on the school because they don't use the same uniform as uh, the basic schools. So challenges are going to be there and uh, I don't think that 20th is going to be feasible. It may be a date on paper, but practically it will not work. Mm. So you are saying that uh, the 20th February deadline or date that the Ghana Education Service has given is not feasible. And in fact, you are calling for a further extension and you have mentioned that possibly it should be taken to the 1st of March. Uh, but you have been in the education space for some time now, usually... Uh, between the time that the results are released and students are expected to report, what processes usually are carried out? Yeah, normally, um, when the results are released, uh, it is left with uh, the Ministry of Education and the GES to place the students in the schools. But uh, to me, it is taking some time. And... You know the hula balloon that is uh, around the placement, especially of last year. So probably they are taking steps to avoid a similar thing happening. That might be the cause for the delay. But I am of the view that as soon as results are still, it will not take more than one week to place students. And they will just go back to school shortly. But the problem is how some of them are going to be placed, where they are going to be placed, and the preparations that parents will need to do. It is not a day, some of them are bodies, so the parents will have to buy some items before they can uh, report to school. So 20th, fine, but uh, it is not a proper or a feasible date that will be met by parents. It's good you've mentioned the challenges that usually fraught uh, the placement process. Does it also suggest that because of this delay, it is going to eliminate these challenges you have been experiencing over the years, if that is anything to go by? Yeah, the minister has promised that uh, this year, the mistakes or the errors that were encountered last year would not be repeated. So we have advised him to put a number of measures in place. And if we should go by those measures, uh, we are sure this year to be smooth. And uh, the corruption that uh, we experienced last year would be eliminated. So let us give him the opportunity. Uh, let us give him the benefit of the doubt that before the end of this week, the placement will be out. And if the placement is out by Friday, how can students go to school on Monday? That's why I say it's not feasible. So let's just give the minister and his team uh, the benefit of the doubt and then hope that they will do so quickly. Mm. Let's talk about this issue of double track. In fact, in the calendar that uh, the Ghana Education Service released last week, there is this element of double track for some schools for first-year students. Uh, last week, teacher associations, especially the Ghana National Association of Teachers, really raised concerns 
about the continuation of the double track system. In fact, you have been uh, loud on some of these things in the past. Really, is it about time for us to bring an end to the double track system? Yeah, as, just as you said, since the inception of the double track uh, uh, system, I have been very much uh, against it for various uh, reasons. I can give you two. For instance, it gives the teachers so much burden of work that they don't rest. And teaching is such a job that uh, you need rest so that you can prepare for the next day or for the next week. But teachers are continuously in class. Then also, it doesn't give the school authorities enough time to uh, prepare uh, facilities in the school before students come in. A uh, go track will end today, then tomorrow you see the green track coming in. So there's no space or there's no time for even the fumigation of the school because the students are congested in the dormitories and all those things. And then the fact that uh, they claim they have uh, enough contact hours, I dispute it because the double track does not give enough uh, time for students and teachers to cover the syllabus, everything is done in a hurry. So uh, I was thinking that by now, there would not be anything like double track because we advise government. There are so many projects ongoing. Look for money and complete them. But because somebody started, we would not want to complete for students to use. And government or public funds is being wasted. So uh, it is because of government failure to complete projects that have uh, started or that were started some uh, six years or seven years ago. That's why the double track is still there. Mm -hmm. so but but the numbers are increasing while infrastructure remains the same, and you have even admitted that some of these projects have not been completed. Isn't it the reason why uh, the double track system is still in place? No. It is lack of uh, foresight. Because every year, numbers increase. So it is important that uh, as a policy planners, you must make sure that uh, you think ahead of time. If you know that the numbers increase by 10%, then what do I do so that infrastructure will be in place before uh, the increase in numbers? So government has failed to look at that and uh, thinking that the facilities that we have already will be enough. It is not. So. I am of the view that uh, the double track is still disadvantageous to students. It is not helping them. And government must wake up and complete all ongoing projects in the various senior high schools. Let's, uh, let's give get fund enough money. Let's decap get fund. And if get fund receives more money, all these projects will have been completed. Because for this year alone, 2023, the estimated Income for debt fund is 4.65 billion Ghana cities. But in the allocation of resources, debt fund is given only 1.8 billion. Whether even that 1.8 billion will go to debt fund is another question. So, debt fund needs a lot of money to complete all these projects. The government is uh, having debt fund of resources. And that is why we are having uh, these challenges and then the double track is not being uh, eliminated. Mm. And to uh, our, our substantive issue reason we are discussing this one, you are saying that the only option available to the Ghana Education Service is to extend the 20th February reopening date for first-year students. Oh yeah, definitely. Because uh, the 20th, the, gov the Ministry of Education and the Ghana Education Service cannot meet those, th those days. Because if you have not released the placement by today, uh, which is uh, 13th of uh, February. How can in the one week parents can prepare for their schools to for their awards to go to school on the 20th? It's not possible. Yeah.